Last time on the coffin of Andy and Lele, we saw Andrew and Ashley are enjoying some Starbucks in the town square after the escape from the quarantine zone. They were staring at the motel nearby for a time being. Andrew's been on edge recently and pretty much binge watches news until he passes out. After returning to their room, Ashley decides to take a short nap. She has a vision of a masked man entering the motel and putting her and Andrew into sleepy night-night time permanently. She tells Andrew this, and he begrudgingly goes outside with her in the dead of night. After waiting for what feels like an eternity, a hooded figure walks past them and dashes into the alleyway once spotted. Andrew accepts his curiosity for what it is and follows the hooded figure. Turns out it's a cultist gathering, and he is not invited nor does he have the proper attire. That's cool, because he invites himself and dress codes are for chumps. He witnesses a summoning party where literally nothing happens, but hey, at least there was cake. He returns to Ashley and tells her what happened. Just as he finishes telling her his story, a car drives into the motel parking lot. A masked man enters their apartment. Ashley comes up with a plan. To lure him away from the building and from its hiding spot, she'll enter the room and declare that she forgot something at the local park that is awfully dark and void of people. Andrew follows her there, where she proclaims that Andrew is handsy, and that, if he wants to woohoo, he needs to find her in a bush just like a real sim. He does so and finds the masked man in a bush. There he is! Shoot. Room, room. All, All right. right, let's see if this guy has anything interesting in his car. So much for not leaving fingerprints. It's a little late to worry about that. You've already touched the door, the handle, and the wheel. It's fine if it's me, right? Oh, I didn't. I. Uh, what in the what the hell? There's an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable one reads, Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this receipt for your cleaning services. We are extremely grateful that you are accepted to clean our laundry for us. And we are so confident in your services that we will not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact us. If anyone were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all the new soda flavors from our sister company. Happy washing! Are we the laundry? Seems that way. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Meditate mindlessly sits on top of the car seat. Newspaper cutouts of various incidents. Most of them are about, are about your old apartment, both were tainted with water and the fire station. There is also an article from last week about some chemical leak in some other city. Someone has scribbled over the words same shit in the corner. Different toilet. Alright, let's go, mate. Take the car and vroom, vroom. Vroom. So where to? Oh, that's you. God damn it. <laughs> so where to? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's. For fuck's sake. Does everything I say go in one ear and out the other? We're going to walk. We're going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave. Oh! What money do you think she exacts exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she inherited some jewelry from Grandma. Well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't, but I sure can. Huh. Uh, no, we still can't go over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Uh, wrong. Sulfuric acid. Do you honestly think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire two? If anything, it seems they assume that the guy took care of us, and that's that. What if what if they hired a hitman to kill you guys, and then they hired another hitman to kill that hitman? But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. We'll be quick. That's what they always say. Get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. Oh, now we're killing them? So now you want to kill our parents? Great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway, so they might as well be dead. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them. Break in, and while they're at work, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. Where do they live now anyway? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh. The only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem quite relevant. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever. Just drive. 
I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Just don't distract me or anything. Okie dokie. Oh, she's Immediately wearing shorts? Immediately starts fucking I didn't, distracting. I was, I was thinking she's wearing jeans this whole time. I didn't know she was wearing shorts. Feet on the floor! Ow. My god, it's not even your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Boo, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. I'll be goddamned if I if we get caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over some stupid shit. Make me then. Ugh. Do you or do you not want to go rob our parents? I said make me, Andy. I, okay, what do you want? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. I, yeah, it is. You get so mad. It's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You've pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. You'll keep going, Andy, Andy, until you get tired, of, until I get tired of correcting you. And all of a sudden, it's Andy and Lele and stupid bullshit all over again. Way to read into it. I was honestly just joking around. Well, then it's not funny, and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore, because you're an asshole. Yeah. <sighs> well, are you going to drive or what? I just, I don't want us to get into trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. Girl, you've been the hard ass the whole fucking time! I do, though, when you're such a dumbass about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy. Mm. Drive, Andrew. And so he does, finally. And you decide to give Andrew the silent treatment to oh, apologize. Oh, what a lovely oh fucking human God. being you are. What a fucking bitch. Just proves I hate her even more. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly. <laughs> but you won't forgive him I until he does. Hate Spoken like, like a true two-face. So while you wait for him to notice you're not talking to him, you fall asleep. He's having the best time of his life with you. You fucking talking for five minutes. What the... You're pretty sure you're dreaming. But at the same time, you feel wide awake. I guess you're going to go talk to God What if? Man. What if this is actually the vision she had and the one that she had before was just a dream? I don't know. This is different, though. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be just a dream because it actually came true, right? I don't fucking know. Just go follow the path. Huh? What? What the fuck? Who's there? Where are you? And where am I? Is this another vision or what? There is no response. Great. There's nothing to step on. There's nothing to step on. There's nothing to step on. Guess you gotta go back, I guess. Picked up red flowers. Threw down some red flowers. Mm -hmm. Let's have go! Eyeball. New soup! Our soul summon you to can tune in. What? Uh -huh. You're all muffled. I can't hear anything. The voice continues talking, but you can't make you can't make heads or tails of it. Ah, whatever. I should focus on getting out of here anyway. Shut the fuck up. A video 55, 60, 65, 65, 75, 85, 95. Sold to the man with a fucking shit face of grin. Fuck. Where am I? Everything looks the same! It's because you've been in the same place. Throw out red flowers. Well, you just avoided falling down into an eternal void. Lucky! Go talk to him. There's nothing to step on. Go talk to him. Later. Ah! It's you! I summoned you before, right? Human. Where am uh, I? In a dream, I called, I called you here. here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of the soul-stealing creature. I have summoned you to make a deal. Great, but I can't do this now. And what if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. Demon couldn't care less about your lover's spat you're having with your brother? What? He's basically saying you're fighting like a married couple. Uh, it carries on as if you hadn't said a thing. You refused my gift. What? It was it useful seeing the future? 
Ah, yes, that trinket you gave me. Yes, it's been very useful, thank you. Then what do you want, you to, want to see the future, future again? We need to be in sync. You, you're not... I'm waiting for you, but you keep saying the same thing over sure. here. Sure. I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. I am able to recharge it. Do you want to make a deal? Do you want to make a deal? <laughs> Let's make a deal. Of course you do. Never has it been had bad to have any idea what the devils. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human souls. Uh, well, you're not getting mine. So if that was it, then... Not yours, Tarsal. Is it like an insult, or... Who's then? Just anybody's? And why don't you go get your some souls yourself? You're bitching to a fucking demon, bro. I want the soul of Kim Kardashian's plastic ass. What soul? <laughs> I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. I am able to reach you only because of my talisman. But even then, one can only interact between the realms through deals. Do we have to deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say that I'm all that interested I can only either. Count to four. Da -da 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 only count to four. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, you'll make my talisman trinket dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually. No, the soul of a gecko is not it. He sells me car insurance. But I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kinda, I don't know, something is shifting and I don't really like it. Demon says nothing to that. It probably wasn't the right entity to talk about this. I will be waiting. The entity you were thinking about was called a therapist. Uh, That's a uh, different kind of demon. Right. All right. I'll see what I can do. So, how do I wake up? You wake up once your mind returns home. Huh? Put your heels three times in the ruby stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Follow the yellow brick road. Huh? Farewell, Darsoul. The entity has left the chat. Picked up red flowers. Picked up red flowers. Ka-chow. Ka-chow. Threw down some red flowers. Threw down some red flowers. Threw down. Threw hands at my Throw sister. Throw it back. Throw it back, Private! Mm. Nah. With eyes? Which one do you want to do? Coin flip? Hey Google, flip a coin. Heads is normal door. It heads. heads. Yup. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. Oh, there's a, a present! present! Give me that fucking present, bitch! There's nothing to step on. Oh, there's more flowers over there. Any flowers. Any flowery goodness? Cat, no, you're not allowed to have pork rinds. I don't know why she insists on trying to steal the pork rinds all the time. Because she's a bitch. Wrong. Hmm. I might have screwed this up. Because I don't see any more flower arrows. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any more flowers. I think I screwed up, babe. Guess you don't have a present anymore. Wait, what's with that sign? It looks different. It's just the fence texture, I guess. There's still more? I thought this way would take me home. Take oh, me God, home. I'm so sick of these fucking flowers. Demon road. We'll collect as many as you can. I want to leave. Ashley? Andy, is that you? Help, get me out of this shithole! Come on, wake up, it's not funny. I'm trying, jackass! Do something, help me! Help me! Leon, help me! Ugh. Oh, thank God. I thought you were dead. 
Oh, never mind. You're still alive. No thank God anymore. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Uh-huh. What? Well, that would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. <laughs> what time is it? Like 10 in the morning or something? Mom and Dad should both be at work right now. So, whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice to me because you treated me like shit last night. I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no, scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think it was pretty fucking lenient with you. Mm, he's right. Uh, so anyway, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley and the Home Sweet Home Invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Well, actually, uh, well, it's definitely about cash grabbing. <laughs> I mean, boo, no thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, oh, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm so nice cough, that I'll cough. go with it for now. Cough, cough, stop, Ashley, cough. Stop. You're being too loud. It's picking up on mine. It's oh, everything picks up on yours. But I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. Cough, cough. Why on earth are we at some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down this slope. Come on, we only have so much time until Mom and Dad get home from work. What, they don't work for eight-hour shifts? They work, like, what, two? Well, it's the bumpfuck <laughs> nowhere national park. That's hilarious. Whee! All Do right. some cardio. Stop! Autumn! Christ! That's not my name. <sighs> this can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place, too. What's her last name, anyway? You don't know your parents' last name? What do you mean, what's their last name? The nameplate's on the door. Do they go with dad's name or mom's? Dad's name, right? Why wouldn't they change it? Why would they change that at this point? I don't know. To throw us off? You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just a feeling I got. I got a feeling that my mom and my dad hate me. Well, whatever it is. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Grayson, Tayson, Flayson, Basin, Ugly, Ugly Van, Van McHideous, Shitters, <laughs> Where's Shathid? Jones. Jones, Mixed Waste and Bio Waste Bins, Inside is Mixed Waste and Bio Waste, Shocker, Trash Bins. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. Uh -huh. Don't, don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. All right, all good. Whatever, let's just find a way in. Oh, stop! Fucking... Oh, come on. Look at this place. They've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter. We'll find our... We'll fill our pockets and go. Fill it with onion. A stick. Through a stick. Carrots. Onion. Potatoes. Potatoes. Here grow some palatable potatoes. He grows some scrumptious carrots. He grows some fuck ugly onions. Oh, ugly McMahon Hideason. One of the planks is loose. Wow. Back door is locked. One of the planks is loosed. Loosed. There's an open window on the wall. That's what I was going to. Oh, I think this window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. A stick. Got wooden plank. What's back there? Place down the wooden plank. Ugh, still too high. Lift me up. Well, no let good. That sink it's in. open, but it's held in place by a latch that's on the other side of the window. Well, you can't slip your hand in there and lift it up a little bit. Got a stick. How about you who ran first over there? Let's see, let's see. Aha! Aha! Andrew helps you climb through the window, now the now open window. Give me your hand and I'll pull you up. Oh, Give damn. me your hand and I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd rather I'd much rather you just open the door for me. Oh yeah, that would be much easier. What the fuck? Renovations are afoot. No, renovations are renovations, not a foot. There's no water inside the toilet bowl. I recommend you don't try to use this one. Welcome, welcome. Stop reading my fucking God damn it. lines! I, I know! I'm sorry! Stop it! <laughs> I'm sorry. Welcome, welcome. Not so fast. Huh? 
Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong, try again. Hmm. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes. To think you'd open a door so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning marvelous. Breathtaking. There are but a few words I'd describe you use your ability to trespass. May I come in now? Fucking Christ. You may. Great. Then let's split up. I want you to get out of here as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there is something I was wondering about. Right now? Can it wait? Our situation is kind of sensitive. Time sensitive. Time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good, then let's tell me later. Mm -mm. Final letter, it reads, Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree, it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel guilty, it's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? Those are so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out. I didn't. It was just on pause until I got out of quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in ashes now. Their parents did not give a shit. A fireplace. They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew. Yes? This is some rich people stuff. Who has a fireplace inside their house? It's not that uncommon, is it? Not in older houses, anyway. But is this house old? Fuck if I know. You just could be renovating it. Doesn't mean it's necessarily new. Notice how they're ending the photos of us here? So what? I guess I'm a little offended. It's not like there were any pictures in general in our last place, either. True, but now that there are some, t why not of us, too? Guess we're just too ugly to be put on display. Right, maybe that's it. You're supposed to say I'm pretty. And you're supposed to be robbing the house. Get to it. Dresser's locked. Dresser's locked. You don't even want to know what your parents have been up to on this bed. Great. It's at the closet of clothes, as well as toys and some rope. Ugh. You close the closet. Toys, huh? I bet he has the new, uh... Nintendo. Nintendo S Did you go down? Did you go straight down? That's not what I meant. Parents have lived here for only a few months, yet somehow they've managed to hoard all this stuff and spare bed to boot. Money's clearly no longer an issue, and, to put, and the extra bed implies there are no issues with their social life either. Christmas stuff, mostly candles. Christmas decorations, including a string of lights. Key. On the table lay some documents about purchasing a home. There's also a key. Got a dresser key. Metal box full of screwdrivers. Unlike the toilet upstairs, this one actually works. Wait, are they planning on not keeping someone down here? It looks like it. The floor the floor drain seems a little clogged up, but it's not your problem. An excellent quality mop. Dirty laundry, right? At the top sits sexy lingerie. Nice. How uncomfortable. Can I have it? No. Damn it. A washing machine and a tumble dryer. Your parents are living it up. Cleaning supplies, such as vinegar. Maybe they're turning the basement into a spare room. But for who? I don't fucking know, guess. Where the fuck is Andrew? Oh, our parents seem to have picked up some new and, and new and exciting hobbies. Tell me more. Well, they got this new action man in the closet. I, uh, don't think I will. But now it makes my sense why mom kept hassling us to move out. Oh, you found the key. Nice. What's in there? There is no sight of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, You have opted in for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet you. Please come... Please come to discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping through the folder, something else catches your eye. It is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh? Huh? I didn't know he died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why Mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone's entered the house. Oh, shit. Isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. Consider shooting whichever parent came just came in. But you can't offer the souls of the dead, so you hold off on that idea. Is someone there? H Hi, Mom! It's just us! Oh, God. Welcome home! Andrew? What are you doing here? Surprise! We came for a visit. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you get? How did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should be really more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard. But what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure, let me just wash my face. 
What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Wait, new purse. Yeah, purse. Your mom's purse. Got a bit of cash. It's nowhere near enough for you. Fuck your mom. I hate her ass. Why didn't she go? Oh, well, that's right, because there's no water in the main bathroom. Meat, wine, looks like your parents had a night planned. I bet you the government made them, like, forget us or something. You brew some coffee. That's probably who they're calling right now. So I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? <laughs> well, first we got evacuated. After that, they gave us a go-ahead to leave, since we've been cleared out of the, out of the parasites anyway. Huh. Interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. That would certainly make the whole st story sell more. Anyway, here we are now. Neither of us are burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. That doesn't seem very enthusiastic. Yeah, you sure look like it. So, so, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? Ha! Huh, I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is worth it, don't you think? The perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought they was all bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff here. Bet you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised. I, I'm actually quite well liked. Although it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't hear it any. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't continue anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mom in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really need to start making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know full well he has got our way of telling you to get lost. Um, oh boy. I can't wait to hear how Dad has been. He must have been all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. <sighs> I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. Poison her. You are Andrew. Sleeping pills, maybe. Somehow your burglar attempt... Oh. Okay. Go ahead, then. Make something, you smooth talker, you. You have nothing to cut. Dish rag in a blender. You don't know how to make yet. Cookbook. Sink. You browse the cooking book for some simple recipe. Mm. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. I'm all right. What is it? It's nothing. You're struck with an ar ar urge to pull this brie bitch into your arms and force her to stay still until she, until she smiles. But you push such an idea out of the back of your mind where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you had never had. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes, and onions. Oh, wow. Chop everything up and boil in a pot. I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm gonna save that there. I'm gonna go check on Mom. See what she's doing right now. She must be downstairs, then. Don't you two ever get sick of each other? All the time. I hear absence makes the heart grow fonder. The very last thing I wanted to make grow fonder is the nightmare of a woman. Mm-hmm. Is dinner ready yet? Is dinner ready yet? Is dinner ready yet? Okay. Shut up, Mom! It's not ready yet! You asked me five times! Christmas lights. Crimmin. Very crimmin. Got potatoes. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients while we languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. We just have to figure out how to go about this now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please just let me think. I'll figure out something out, okay? I'll... Mm. God, she ruined him so much that he's got his strokes. You get the feeling she has nothing, something more to say, but you can't tell what it is. So it's, it's just going to start an argument. So you leave it be for now. Got carrots. Or carrots. Got only ions. Odions! Own ions. On ions. Off ions. Dad? No, I'm still not back with the milk yet. Mm. Where's my cigarettes, Dad? Chop, 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 chop. You don't have all the greens. And you get the meat. Got meat. Got meat? It's like a weirder version of got milk. Got meat. Just curious. Did you use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes. Why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. Fill the ingredients in pot and wait. Mm. All right, you can't take this anymore. Actually, I can tell something's up. Spit it out. 
I have something to tell you. Master, I have something to tell you. But first, you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay, then. Never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? You're going to be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill Mom and Dad. Ugh. No, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge this clairvoyant dream thing. Do you really, or are you just saying that? Uh-huh. Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? You want to do dad? <laughs> Hey, kids, it's good to see you. Hi there, kids. It's me, Dad. <laughs> I've come back with the milk. <laughs> I still don't love you. I wish I, wish I, I never, never had, had you. you. <laughs> we think so alike. Says Dad. Dad with the enthusiasm of a dead fish. <laughs> One extremely oh tiresome God. dinner later. Fio, Fio, that was, that was a conversation. riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry, kids. I'm exhausted from work. You're oh spilling shit! Fucking popcorn. No. No. I'm heading straight to bed. And nowhere else. I wish I never had you. Good job to clean up. Wow. She leaves without waiting Haven't for Haven't seen me for a fucking two years, and it's you do that months. shit. It's been months. It's been three months, I think. It's been longer than that. It's been months, not years. It can't be done. The dishes, <laughs> the robbing, or the killing. <laughs> robbing nor killing. The more I think about this, the less doable it is. It takes one to report to the authorities, to put us on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, <laughs> do you reckon are the prime suspects? We'll surely not... They're two dead kids. Well, surely not. They're two dead kids. Wheel. <laughs> Wheel of Wheel. those two dead kids. Oh my god, I'm so fucking tired, dog. <laughs> but were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly we've not only alerted them that we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. Oh, what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. What? You're all about being so careful. Yeah, because you kind of have to be. But when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? Bet you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know I'm only keeping appearances up, right? And so is she. Felt to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Mm. Okay. Listen, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing happy family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't, but that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. Ugh. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with Mommy and Daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like oh me. My oh my god, Jesus this Christ. again? You're the only one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. Mm. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you'll get. That was awkward. Okay. It now isn't the time for this anyway. Just let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charged, we'll at least have the means to stay safe. 
I... I get that, but if we leave quietly, there'd be no need to us for anyone to look for us. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth Hold shut. Hold on a second. Dead. Is his fingers in yes. her loop? Yes. Yes, it is. Huh. Okay. Ahem. What are you two whispering about? Nothing. Not about killing you. I, I mean, um. Uh. Yeah, that face just about perfectly sums up how I feel right now. Maybe consider hitting that subscribe button to see how this discussion unfolds. Or you could not. I don't care, I'm not your fucking dad. I'm just an AI voice with absolutely zero emotion dot or am I? Actually, I have tons of emotions. The guy typing out what I'm going to say has emotions. So do I thus have emotions? Find out next time on BSN Bubblegum.